Hi guys, Gav321 here. Today we're going to be doing another video. I haven't done a video in a while. I've been pretty busy uh, this weekend. I'll try to make like two videos um, to sustain the next week. I will be making videos on the new operator profiles of both the new operators, Echo and um, Hibana. And uh, that's going to be the Red Crow update on this Thursday. So I'll get that uploaded probably i'll try to do it on friday i'll do more videos later on so um today we're going to be doing a nerf video it's going to be a comparison video with between the double dealer and the rampage i have it right here i am uh trying to make my thumbnail whichever and it's weird because youtube just picks a random thumbnail for you i don't know how to generate thumbnails i'm pretty sure you have to do it on a computer because then you can like upload your photo to the thing and you like edit it and stuff i don't know i just kind of hope for the best that's why i have it set up right here so no matter no matter what i'm doing with my hands these two will be um on here so um today we're going to be reviewing the double dealer and the rampage so these two guns are well this one's doomland this is elite um both these guns are very similar they both have the pump grip style and they both are magazine fed and they have slam fire. That's the similarity. So I tried to find a similar gun to compare. So these are gonna be the two that I'm gonna be comparing today. So I'll start off with a review or like a short review of the Rampage here. So the Rampage, I'm just gonna set this aside. Uh, the Rampage right here, it comes with, I'll just say what it comes with. It comes with the 25 round drum and the gun. Pretty straightforward. It also comes with the piece, the magwell, but you, once it's attached, it's, it doesn't come off. So, let me show you that. And uh, this gun is a pump action, single shot order. Slam fire. Slam fire is effective, but watch this. See how I'm like moving? Go ahead and pump it, and then you, you're a lot more still. So, this is more inaccurate, but if you have wind, you can stay stable. It's perfectly fine. And, um, talk about this gun uh what it has on it. it has two tactical rails one on the very front one on the back or the, not the back like up here no on the bottom because you got your grip and then i has one stock attachment point and the, it's a side loading mag well not a bottom like right here so you come to the 25 round drum take this load it in you got the board and then you got 25 rounds which is very good this is a really good setup that i like to use just for the stock and um Overall, this gun is really good. It has really good performance. It's average 70 feet per second, like 50 to 60 feet range. Average leap, angled 40 feet or so straight, pretty right normal nerve firing. So uh, it, the, the nice things or the pros about this gun, uh, I'm done with the short review, is going to be that it comes with a 25 round drop. This will add to your collection very high capacity allows you to not have to reload and when you're doing a battle with your friends where you can't just carry multiple mags you just get a gun once you run out you're done or whatever rules you guys like to do this is really high capacity so uh you won't have to reload it's really nice you won't run out of ammo and um it's the other pro is fast hiring it's relatively small i think it's the right size i think it could they couldn't have made it really any smaller I think maybe, I don't really know the internals, make this a little smaller, maybe like right here. Maybe, that might be possible, but I honestly don't know. So uh, the nice thing, there's two rails, scope, and then my Blackbeard shield, which I have, and then my, uh, if you put a stock in here, and the only reason you'd ever use this is for the Blackbeard shield or the Modulus shield, or a laser, I don't even know. If you put a scope here, there's no point to put anything else here, because it'll block it. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of pointless, but it's, it's the way it is. So, uh, that's the rampage. Basically now I'll show you, um, it's okay guys. Uh, sorry for the cutoff there, but, um, I already paused it. So I didn't want to like unpause it. So this is the load. I just put a bunch of random attachments on there. So that's the Blackbeard shield. So you can just sit here and do this, and just hit your head, which is nice. You have the modular scope which is blocked zero point like this honestly is completely 
And then you have the, I'm just putting random stuff on here. This is the back gun thing, which is another reel. Well, you could do this, and then you could, like, scroll down like that. That kind of works. And then well, the main thing is when you're done, just attach it. You can have a scope on it to be tactics. And then we got the 25 rounds, so the only part is right here my hand hits like that, you know, and then it might kick it over if I'm going really fast. Especially because I'm right-handed, so my arm is kicking out this way. So it might run into it. So that's that, and uh, that's kind of what the Rampage's uh, loadout would kind of look like if you were to use it. So, or if I were to use it. Not really, but you know what I mean. So that is the Rampage. Now we'll move on to the Double Dealer. Another thing that I forgot to mention is the Rampage is um, 25 us dollars and this is 40 us dollars so a lot more money 15 dollars which is a lot in you know nerf it's not like 10 dollars it's almost 20 bucks more so and if you round it you know you get pretty much 20 dollars difference so uh not if you round it up because that'd be terrible rounding i'm saying if you round it down to 20 dollars because there's mostly it's either 15 or 25 there's some 20s but there's not very many if so it's like 22.99 so uh this is the double dealer it's basically the reason i'm reviewing these because they're basically the same uh basically this thing is the exact same as the rampage except for two magwells and it looks like a plane just like they're in a fire and uh see it has two magwells so when you pull this down take both these out and then it's a dual loader and it shoots two at a time it, you don't run out of ammo at the same time because if you put two 25s, you'll run out at the same time as you do with the Rampage. Talking about the aesthetics of this, I think it looks a lot cooler than the um, cool side. I think it looks a lot cooler than the Rampage. It uh, has this really cool handguard. It makes you feel really swag when you're shooting at people. Like, like, doesn't that look cool? And it says that this has slam fire, but why don't you just look at me for a second? So if I just take this out just so I can so that's that this is about as fast so just put it out of frame get out get out okay now if I slam this this is what it's I was pushing as hard as I could I go like this it's really weird there's a weird lock in there that doesn't like slam fire but as you can see, I can actually achieve higher when I'm not holding and doing it. It does have it, but... There you go, but like... That's a lot faster. And uh, one more thing about it, it has two types of rails, the same as the Rampage, so I won't be tuning a loadout. One thing that's a disadvantage about this is that the stock. There's two reasons. There's positive and negative for the stock being there. The positive... It holds mags, so you can run around like this. My mom is outside, and I just saw me doing this. Um, you can put two mags in there like this. Hold on one second. And then you can just run around like this. And then you're, like, stopped. I mean, does that look scary or not? Too dark for time, and then you just go. Suddenly, you got that, and then you can fire. And then both. Uh, another thing, jam doors on the top since there's two, and on this one there's a side. I forgot about that. And uh, it's really comfortable, except for the fact that you don't really use this stock because it does actually hurt. It's like very cubicle, so these like punch into you, and it's just not. So I'd rather just fire it like this, and it's really annoying because since this curves down like that, if this was just a little bit more out, it'd be comfortable. But I'm constantly hitting on this, and it's just, it just doesn't feel right because when I do this, it's like scrunched. When I do this, it's, it's weird, and my hand is already hurting from shooting this a little bit. That's one thing. And then uh, the other thing, this thing has least performance. It really does. Um... It is definitely not, it doesn't shoot as far at all, but it shoots two darts. So I'd say this thing's better in close range, but not really. It's really a decision for you to make. So now I'm going to do a few shooting tests outside, and then I'll come up with the final decision. Okay, guys, now I'm going to do a short little firing test. I've put 
indicator rounds in both um, in the rampage. It's really weird. The setting is weird. That looks kind of cool. There's like uh, yellow right there, and then like normally this is all trees and you can't see. Now it's like, oh, so yeah, it's kind of weird. I am wearing Packers jersey. There's Rodgers. And then, um, so, <laughs> sorry. Um, so uh, I have put uh, camo rounds in here, if you can see that. And then I put uh, indicator red around. So when we got on there, we can see the first shot. Because if I do it too fast, it might uh, declash because the spring will be worn out. But it probably won't. I'm just doing it because I felt like it. I also ran out of camo darts, so I had to put one red dart in there. I did that in the double dealer too, so I'm gonna shoot the rampage first. I'm gonna shoot uh, like 10, no, nine single shots and three like, <laughs> see how far they go. I'm gonna do just normal nerf shots. So have two left, three left. So now I'm gonna try to do a fire. Okay, so there's that, and we have ranges. So now I'm gonna fire the double dealer since, and I it does have two 12s, but it fires two at a time. 12, exactly. So now we're gonna do two, and uh, we're gonna do three shots at the end as fast as I can. Oh, one fire, so we might have a jam or something. Yep, we have a jam. So there's another problem with this. When you have dual loaders, there are jams. One second. It's kind of tricky. Okay, there. So this first two are going to be off. So actually, you're right. Okay, I loaded another red dart into a different mag, so now I can um, fire it. What the heck? Oh my gosh, this magazine is so bad. I'm sorry, my orange mag apparently does not want to cool it. Look at that. That's not supposed to happen. Apparently my orange mag doesn't like me. First shot has huh? hilarious. It landed like right next to each other, so now and another thing, these mags are like the sweetest mag ever, except if you like 12ers. If you like 12ers, these are probably the best mag. It has a cool little groove, so when you go to grab it, like this, you hit it, and then you go like that. And then there's also green, or uh, not green, sorry, clear. And the clear is really awesome, kind of like the AP stick, which is probably the best mag, so now we're gonna keep the And there we go, there's an example of a misfire. Now, I'm seeing a lot of them wanting to cross. How many do we have left? Oh, that's the end of it. Uh, I already know what the performance is out of this. I don't want to load any more mags. But I already know what the performance is. It's quite bad when you do slam fire. This is about slam fire, so... So it's honestly not that good. It does about the same because you'll see by these ranges. So you have one, eight feet. And that's a bit misfire. So one of them goes pretty far, and the other range goes. So uh, if we just take a look, you can see green, and you can't see blue because blue blends in. Probably shouldn't use blue, but you know it's main brand. I either have green, blue, or orange, and I don't have enough orange usually. The blue. Now you can get a CR out here. So. Who knew? Rampage beats the uh, double dealer. I'm not going to just completely skip that. I'm going to just look around here. We got some green ones, more green ones at about 40, no, probably 30, 35 feet is the effective range. Uh, a lot of the misfires are landing like 25 feet, which is not very good. And we have the good shots, which are landing around 35. And we have one way down there at like 70 feet. So. That one was the one where it went, and the other one got full power. 
because it has the same spring as the Rampage, just two of them, and it or one of them to power two, and it's not really the best system because you only get half the performance out of both of them. And then with the Elite Rampage, your average is about like there's a ton more double darts, so I'm like, where are all the rest? Your average is about 60 to 70 feet. And with the slam fire ones, it's about the same as the double dealer, which is 30 to 40 feet, which is really good. So I'm gonna do a quick clip at the end of me just slam firing a ton of darts out of a drum magazine, or just a full 12 actually. And then I'll just kind of, that'll, that'll kind of show you exactly how it looks when you slam fire it, so. Okay, so, set that up. Okay, I'm gonna fire at you guys, I'm sorry. That's very fast. Trying to drop bag. Guess that's pretty much to no go. Hope some of those hit. And uh, so that's that. Um, there's the nerf. The comparison of the nerf double dealer and the nerf rampage. That'll be my video for today. So uh, see you guys tomorrow. So my neighbor's dog is coming over. So. See you guys next time.